everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Enter the Gungeon. Uh, this is basically we're gonna do exactly the same run that we did on the last one. I'm starting this right after. Excuse me, cat. Yes, I know you'd like to touch me on the face and get your smell all over me, and you're always a good boy, but you can't be up here, man. You can't be up. You gotta just go down for 45 minutes. We'll be cool. Ruka, give me a meow. Give YouTube a meow. He's gonna do it. I know he's gonna do it. Ruka. All right, well, he's just gonna rub up against my leg instead. Um, cue a couple of angry comments that are like, I thought you were a professional. Get your cat out of here. If I went to the president's Oval Office, would he have his dog? Well, I mean, technically his whole family lives in there, so it's not a good example, but you understand my point. Anyway, uh, lockpick immediately. Great start. I'm not bitter about it, though. I actually, I, I could have easily done a TV run here instead and try to take the TV down, which is gonna be, you know, frustrating enough in its own right, of course, but, uh, I, I wanted to do the, uh, you know, get six keys and 300 and whatever credits, uh, instead, because I think it's gonna be great practice. I think I'd rather knock this out, having just failed on a run of it, because we died against the fourth floor boss, than I would, um, like to go do something else, like just do a normal run and then knock this out because I really feel like I, I should get used to having a relatively low power level. I'm not talking like from the Dragon Ball Z standpoint, I just mean, um, you know, we're not going to be able to pick up many guns here. Hopefully we'll be able to pick up a decent amount of HP, but we've got to be, uh, we've got to get used to the fact that we're going to have low, uh, attributes, basically. We're going to have low damage, we're probably going to have no speed upgrades, although we did get one last time. Um, but I think it's important, if possible, to keep our expectations in check there. Now, I really dislike that we have to deal with the fucking starting pistol of the pilot, which takes 20 years to kill any enemy at this point. But that right there is liable to be the lar the, the, the largest room, the hardest room that we come across here over the course of uh, a run. Can I be honest with you? I don't know what lard is. We, um... You know, in, in, in Canada, we're very uh, fat-phobic when it comes to, like, uh, you know, macronutrients. Protein's good. Vitamin's good. Fat is still, by many people, considered very bad. Sometimes it is. I guess some kinds are. But it gets more of a bad rap than it deserves, so I don't think lard is very uh, commonplace up here anymore. Ooh, this could be good. It's not, really, but it could be. The Molotov is at least not bad. It gives us an active item that we can use. Um, I also don't really know what butter is. Is butter a dairy product? Like, I know that that probably sounds very stupid. Is butter a dairy product or an animal fat product? I guess technically, you know, milk is, is an animal fat product to begin with, but I gotta admit there's, there's gaps in my culinary knowledge here. You ask me about tempura, I'll be like, well, tempura is a fried Japanese um, appetizer or possibly a component to a full meal originally adapted at least the common wisdom is now from uh, the Portuguese style of tempura that was brought there when traders first made it uh, from Portugal to the Japanese coast back in the 16th century if you ask me what butter is I'll be <laughs> I don't fucking know butter I know margarine is partially hydrogenated vegetable oil I have no idea what butter is it is not vegan friendly but I don't know if it's a dairy product or if it's a if it's made from animal fat. It doesn't really matter in the whole scheme of things. I do enjoy it. But uh, you know what? There's my there's my Wikipedia sleuthing to be done today. I, I actually point that out, knowing that there are gonna people there are gonna be people who are like, how does this dude not know what butter is? Just to highlight that there's you know, there's gaps in everybody's knowledge, certainly my own included here. Alright, fantastic. Because we're using our default pistol for the first boss again. You know, there's gaps, there's gaps in everybody's knowledge. I'm not saying, you know, you should be amazed that there's gaps in my knowledge because I'm a, you know, super genius. I'm just saying, you know, you talk to, you talk to Albert Einstein, sometimes he'd probably be like, you know, I've never seen the Lord of the Rings films. You gotta be like, Albert Einstein, how have you never seen the Lord of the Rings films? And he's just like, you know, I mean, I died like 30 years before they came out. And then he'd be like, that's no excuse, all right? That sounds like a quitter's attitude. Um, obviously, it's my expectation that we will not buy anything on our show. We do have the Molotov almost ready, not Bullet King. It is uh, Trigger Twins again. We get a little bit of a chance for redemption, at least. 
And what what's my my master plan for fighting the trigger twins? Well, unlike last time, I'm feeling like it, it's probably going to be best for us to avoid taking damage. Um, I know it sounds like a novel concept. Never do that dodge. Or if you're going to do it, at least do it with like a blank on the ready. I just went for it and I regret it immensely. Okay, part of this fight right now, um, because we're using our starting weapon, is going to be about patience. You know, we're going to need to take some time occasionally reposition ourselves well it is very sensible for us to get ourselves up here uh, and you know take out the uh, the one that we've already hit 15 times and by 15 I probably mean like 150 but if we get hit in the process it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter how quickly we win the fight all that matters is whether or not we did it without getting hit if we do it without getting hit, that's worth a ton. If we don't, it's not worth anything. So even though I had to use a blank there to make that happen, I'd do it again if I had the, if I had the opportunity. Because it guaranteed us at least a lottery ticket to flawless this boss. Oh my god, we got another Molotov. I didn't even notice. We stopped him in the fire. Oh my lord. Even though we didn't spend as much time in inside of the fire as I'd like. Still very pleased with this. We got him back in the fire. At least temporarily. The Molotov may end up being a little bit more valuable than any of us could have expected. Holy shit. <laughs> that was not my ideal boss fight, but we got it done. We get the Gungeon Eagle. I don't particularly think this is good, um, which, strangely enough, actually means that I feel like I'll probably use it as a room clearer because I'm not really missing out on much. You know, the opportunity cost is not great either way. So I'm very pleased with that performance. Um, required a little bit of mental maneuvering to get myself into in the headspace to not just, you know, throw myself into that fight willy-nilly. That was very bad. Um, I hope I'm wrong about the Gungeon Eagle, by the way. I hope it's the greatest of all the all the weapons we've ever seen, but I don't believe that that's the case. The fact that a fully charged shot doesn't kill a blue... Well, two fully charged shots does not kill a blue bulletkin. It's pretty bad for business, I think. It might be a, a gun that is themed around knockback. Wow, this, this is like a flashback to the fourth floor of the last round. Let's not die like an idiot. Um, if it is, like, that's that's a real kick in the teeth. Because I just could not care less about uh, having a gun themed around knockback when we really just need something that actually hits like a fucking truck. I really didn't think we'd get hit there. Okay. Let's not make the same mistake we made on the last round. And it's hard because it's a it's a mistake in terms of performance, not a mistake in terms of cognition. Hot and fresh out the kitchen, mama rolling that body got every man in here wishing. But we gotta slow ourselves down, and we gotta not let ourselves get uh, you know bent out of shape here. You got two and a half HP. If you hadn't flawless the boss, that would be a very real realistic amount of HP to have right now, and still be relatively pleased with. So. Let's not act like all is lost here as a result of this. Let's just instead move forwards. How are we doing from an economic standpoint? Could be better. This room we're going to use the Gungeon Eagle because it can knock enemies into these pits. Um, theoretically, at least. If it doesn't kill these ones in one hit. Um, another key. Theoretically, we're doing pretty well, actually. Um, we're already halfway to the amount of keys that we need. Not even close to the amount of money that we need, but... Pretty important nonetheless, you know, they're, they're two sides of the same coin. They're, oh, I shot my own explosive barrel there. They're two sides of the same coin here. I'm not I'm not too worried about it um, yet. We'll see financially how we're doing. Hopefully we manage to pick up uh, We managed to pick up enough. I have a decent amount of faith that we probably will. Alrighty. <laughs> Fantastic. Alrighty. No problem. No items so far. Oh, actually we got the C4. We could take that instead of the Molotov. Or the lockpick, for that matter, but, uh... 
Okay, that's obviously not gonna be there. Oh, our secret room. And it contains HP and a chest and a key. And the chest contained a key as well. This is actually... Get out of here. You know what, Ratman? Enjoy it. I didn't want it anyway. I was doing okay with the Molotov. Um, we're now almost set on keys. I believe they require six. If they require six, it's actually pretty good because once we get to six, or once we get to seven, I should say, should we get there, um, we'll have the ability to start actually opening chests and giving ourselves a much better chance to actually survive um, long enough to actually see Elevator Man, which is fairly important from my personal standpoint here. Hard to, hard to deliver the goods to Elevator Man if you can't actually, you know, live like... How are they supposed to learn how to read if they can't even fit inside of the building? I dreamt about Zoolander last night, which... You know, I, I don't think you should have to apologize for what you dream about, and I still think the first Zoolander is a funny movie. Maybe a little bit of a uh, guilty pleasure, but... Um, I don't know why I dreamt about Zoolander. That's what gets me. But I guess, you know, scientists were, were still working on... I say we, but you know what I mean. Other scientists like myself are still working on why, you know, what, what dreams represent, what they mean. I'm doing my damnedest, you know. I, I work from home as a scientist. Uh, do a lot of thinking. Which I think is the most important part of science. It's not all the bullshit scientific method. It's mostly just about, like... You know, just thinking. That's how we're gonna come up to a you know, with, with a cure to like the world's most dangerous diseases, man. Just sitting at home, be like, well, have you tried rubbing some Crisco on it? World's smartest man wins all <laughs> sweeps the Nobel Prize this year. Now, I'm not happy with the damage I took there. I, it's it's a symptom of uh, my congenital idiocy. But no, it's uh. It's because my weapons sort of suck. We should just be spamming this uh, Gungeon Eagle. It's just hard to get out of the habit of, you know, having a... Uh, having a charge gun and be like, I should charge it. But apparently that's not always the case. Just use it as like a normal revolver, I guess. Um, but it's symptomatic of me not having very good damage with the base pistol. So I'm like, okay, use the... Uh, use the... Uh, range to your advantage. Just get in there and, you know, gratata. As the case may be. Probably one more. Two more. Alright. Another key. So we're at six. We actually can start opening stuff now. Or at least soon. Um, Map Man is going to give us a free item, which is beautiful. All we need to do is discover the entirety of the map, and we're almost there. Just don't die against the second floor boss, or I'm going to be very, very disappointed in myself. Now, this should be a chest. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm very tempted to open it. But we should probably abstain for now. Because you never know if that might be the last key we ever get. This guy wants money. We, More than any other resource right now, we really can't afford to give him money. As much as I might like to. Um, I don't know what kind of bonuses he could give us, but we, we can't afford the the loss in financial capital right now. Oh, the last one's a ghost. You made me switch off my uh, my gun thinking we, we could be more ammo efficient. Then you give me these freaking ghosts. Like some of the most annoying enemies to come across this early. That's all right. Okay, we got a gun muncher. We don't really have enough guns to consider using a gun muncher right now. And we have our boss fight. We should just go for the boss fight. And we, we really, really should be able to do good things here. Uh, excuse me. Showed up a little too close for comfort. Now again, the pressure's on. Meduzi, one of the easier bosses to flawless, I think. But we only get one blank. And normally, there's a couple of attacks... Yeah, I was getting Molotov's not gonna do shit here. There's a couple of attacks that I, I like to, uh... Yep, yeah, I like to blank through on this one. This is the big one, but we've already been hit, so I'm not gonna sweat it. You know what? Go back to your starting pistol. Save your ammunition. Little disappointed we didn't get the Flawless here, but at the same time, we got the Secret Room instead. <laughs> it is the way that I'm gonna choose to see it. can't see you. There's nothing... If I can give, like, a... <laughs> yeah, okay. 
If I can give a genuine tip to all you, like, amateur gungeoneers out there. One thing I see showing up a lot when I'm watching... Not that I should be in a position to be giving expert advice to begin with, but... One thing I see people doing a lot that I, I consider a major mistake is, is not keeping enemies on the screen. Like, it's very important to be far enough away that you got enough reaction time to dodge. Uh, but on the other hand, it's also very important to be able to see where the enemy is. You can see the attack animations. You know you're actually landing your shots without having to constantly glance at the enemy HP. These shots are not even landing. She's, she's doing a good job of spacing us out here, unfortunately. That's the dangerous one right there. This should be easy enough. Alright, that's fine. Drop a key. Drop a key and I can open that chest. Or let the lockpick just work. Some armor, some HP, machine pistol, or MAC-10. It's pretty okay. Uh, certainly we don't want to reroll. Or, sorry, we don't want to gun munch it. Alright, you got the map. Share the completed map. He has given us the Shield of the Valkyrie. I don't know, man. I, I do quite like the Molotov as an item. Decently, even though earlier I said it sucked and I hate it. I never want to see it again. I'm not going to invite it to my birthday party. Um, yeah, we're just going to go. I mean, I'm happy to have the Mac 10 I think it could be good for boss clearing. I'm very happy to have six keys. We do need 200 credits, but six keys is, you know, a start there for sure. Um, well, I guess now the, the true test begins here to see if we can actually get enough... Uh, enough credits to make this happen. Then we also need to live uh, until the fifth floor. Which is its own beast. Now, Mac 10 not absurdly ammo efficient, I think it's fair to say. Oh, I didn't even reload it. I really don't want to use it uh, for room clearing at all. You gotta do what you gotta do in the end, but in the end, it doesn't even matter, so I'm not gonna sweat that too much, I suppose. Still feel like the, the Gungeon Eagle... Oh god, that was real close. Still feel like the Gungeon Eagle is pretty terrible. I mean, I guess two-shotting these guys is not that bad. But it's like a... It's like a shittier crossbow. Which is not where you want to be on floor three. Why not use the machine pistol? Pretty much because I want to have something available for the boss fight. So as, as dicey as this is right now, like compared to the last run, much better position on HP. That's uh, indisputable. Much better position on, uh, on keys. That's like mathematical. But fairly worse off in terms of our actual guns. Like at this point in our last run, we had fossilized gun, silencer. Um, those were doing okay. Even if they did possibly cause us to hurt ourselves a couple of times over the course of it. Um, just trying to maneuver through this room properly. I also, I resent that the Gungeon Eagle takes so long to charge and then doesn't murder things as much as I would like it to. Like, the fact that it didn't kill that grenade in one shot is actually damning. We might actually be better off with our default pistol, but... Alright, we don't want to use a key there, at least not yet. Come on. We have gotten a little bit unlucky uh, with lockpicks so far. That's not really complaining, because again, what did I say on the last run? Everything we get with the lockpick is is basically a gift in its own right. We can't treat anything uh, as if it's guaranteed, so we should just be thankful we're getting something out of it while still being able to save our keys, but... It, it can be frustrating for sure. Um, we maybe should just use machine pistol here. Good work, team. One more. 
I mean, you're really using like one tenth of the ammo in your machine pistol to get that to get that kill, which is a little scary. Ooh, we get the ammo, which. Oh, I hate to admit it, but we're gonna take for the Gungeon Eagle because we don't really have uh, too many better options. Simply because the machine pistol's not that uh, not that low yet. This room is almost certainly going to have more enemies spawning. Come on, just knock him into the pit. Okay, th these guys not dying in one hit is also horrible. Come on. I really want a key drop so I can just open our next chest right away. This is like Molotov City. Uh, you know, I have to give credit where credit is due. The minecart pushed that enemy into a position where I felt like I could not dodge. I feel like this is perhaps slightly uh, unfair to me, but far be it for me to complain about a situation like that. Rather, I just say, ah, uh, fuck, and let's move on. All right, so we're third floor starter pistol. Let's not get too despondent yet. Still got one and a half HP. It's not horrible. A lot of keys. Getting there, financially speaking. Get some switches, get some environmental kills, play the game right there. Come on, come on. Come on. There we go. More hearts. Ooh, we can't open it yet, but we may desire to in the future. Maybe we could just go for it? What's in the shrine room here? I almost feel like one key for Book of Chest Anatomy or one key for Ballot is fine here. I'm gonna I'm gonna make an executive decision to go for the ballot. And then let's open this. Oh, it opened. Thank you. And then we got Heart of Ice, which gave us HP and also gave us, um, well, a, a fringe benefit, which is that when we get hit, we do damage with these ice balls. But the, the HP upgrade is the big one there. Um, so I spent a key, but you have to imagine that even though we're in the, well, I don't want to say the relative late game, but even though we're halfway through the run here, the average outcome or output of a, a ballot pickup is probably more than one key. So all we have to do is be about average and we should be fine uh, on keys to begin with. And then, keep in mind, there's other consumables than keys. You know, every red heart that we get, we should say thank you, ballot. Similarly, I feel like Book of Chest Anatomy is, is basically worth a key to pick up, but I don't know if it's worth taking both right now. Like, taking both seems a little scary to me. But if we get more keys on this floor, I mean, I guess I feel, why not? Just try it. It broke, that's fine. And we'll look for a secret room. Nope, that's fine, that's fine. Three blanks. Good for the boss. I don't really hinge all of our hopes on beating this boss uh, without getting hit. As nice as it would be. That dodge never should have worked. Uh, as nice as it would be, it's not, I feel, essential because we already have 5 HP, which is pretty solid. Um, wow, that's a long walk, but it is it is something that I'd, I'd like to do if possible. We did flawless the cannon Balrog on the last run, but we had a, a slightly better loadout, you know, the Huntsman, Buzzkill, Petrified, or Fossilized Gun. Wow, we have our boss fight already. I guess we have seen both chests. All right, let's give it a shot. It is cannon Balrog again. Probably pretty lucky that he went away there. He's pretty lucky he went away there. Okay, never do that dodge. That was that was idiotic. He does eat the Molotov pretty nicely. He has locomoted out of it, which I would prefer he hadn't. Lucky us. Not lucky us. And there goes our flawless there, but. 
That's okay. We, we put up a good try. On here, I would I would really rather use a blank at this point, considering our somewhat low HP. I'd rather use a blank than get hit and have a small chance of finding the secret room. If there is a like a benevolent force in this universe, it is going to give me a good gun from this boss fight. All I ask. He is in the fire. That should do a lot of damage. He's got a big hitbox at least. He's staying in the fire even longer. I appreciate that. Give me more HP. Give me more HP. What? That's alright. At least it's only taking 500 machine pistol or Mac 10 ammo. What in the world was that? There you go. He's dead. Financially, I think we're not killing it. Oh, we did get a key, though. And we will take the key. Of course, we will take the HP. Cobalt Hammer. So this is the gun you get for flawlessing the... Uh, flawlessing the dragon. Just shoot. You don't have to... I don't think it's going to be in here. Uh, let's, let's check here. Oh my god, we found it accidentally. That's wild. There's another blank, and some more HP. Well worth it, though. I mean, the blank is meaningless, but the, the extra half heart could be worth all the difference, you know? Um, I'm assuming that the Cobalt Hammer is going to be an amazing boss item. Uh, that looks like it on shot maybe deflects bullets. Let's check it out, though. Obviously a reference to, you know, Twitch's, uh, preeminent Gungeon personalities, Cobalt and, uh, Cobalt Streak and Richard Hammer. Shoots streaks of blue, chargeable. Brought to the Gungeon by two of the first souls to conquer the Gungeon. Their ceaseless charge was driven by an unquenchable curiosity and not even fatigue could slow their progress. Sleeping in shifts, their resting partner was carried into the depths on the other's back. Many adventurers throughout the galaxy would first learn of the Gungeon through tales of their exploits. Must be nice, guys! Must be nice! Anyway, we're gonna head down to the next floor here. I'm not gonna hold it against them. I like them as streamers and people, and if their gun helps me beat the game, I'll just uh, rename it in the INI files. Now, we're going to get uh, maybe the machine pistol for room clearing now that it seems like we have a good boss killer. Help. Good work. Okay. Machine pistol. <laughs> Honestly, not really holding it down. The fact that it takes so many bullets to kill a. Uh, to kill one of the most basic enemies is, is a really bad sign. It's not the machine pistol. I know it's the Mac-10, but you know. It's the same shit. Machine pistol, Mac-10. I should think the machine pistol might be better, but... What do I know, man? Okay. You should burn to death before you spawn that enemy. Oh my god, I idiotically took fire damage. I really thought we could push it just a little further. Great work. Okay, there's our seventh key. This means we can start actually uh, opening chests instead of using our lockpick. Which is actually quite surprising to me. All we really need to do, I mean like, in order to have a chance at uh, victory here, all we need to do is get to the next floor. We could have 300 by the next floor, although it's unlikely. Re more realistically, what we need to do is probably survive a little bit into the next floor to make that happen. By the way, I am using... I'm, I'm switching back and forth between guns here because I'm like... Maybe my Gungeon Eagle or Dungeon Eagle sucks more than the uh, Starter Pistol. And then I'm like, well, maybe the Starter Pistol sucks more than the Gungeon Eagle. And I just keep flip-flopping back and forth there. Mostly because none of these guns make me happy right now. We're gonna run out of Gungeon... I know it's called Dungeon Eagle, but... I'm choosing to say that Gungeon Eagle is a better name. Oh, this damage is really bad! Come on, Ballot. Work with me here. Work with me because I can't work with myself, apparently. It was the fourth floor last time that got us. I don't want to see that happen again. Good. He's dead at least. 
least. I want to see us pull out a victory here. We're so close to having the necessary ingredients. No ballot payout, but that's okay. Okay, well, we might as well open it. Just checking. It is Sticky Crossbow. Maybe a justifiable room clearer? It has to be really freaking good to be a uh, to be a boss killer, because I'm assuming that the the cobalt hammer is gonna do that for us. Um, sticky crossbow, maybe I don't know. I think you can't hit yourself with it anymore. It does fire, you know, quite quickly. Yeah, this seems absolutely fine for boss killing, or sorry for room killing. Um, now we do have a gun game. Or, um, you know, the, the carnival game that we have over there. Which scares me a great deal. Because if we give him money, we don't get our money back. We just get an item. So I guess actually it doesn't scare me at all. If we're looking at this logically, we should not take him up on the opportunity. For a second, I was thinking maybe it was the one where you walk in and they're like... You know, if you can beat this next room without getting hit, you get blah blah blah. But let's check and make sure I'm not wrong there. Okay, I'm not wrong there. At least not wrong about that. Okay, this is a death room. Very important that we don't get hit here. Oh my god. This. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Relax. We're gonna summon some Isaac skills. And the Isaac skills are, you can't get hit, so don't get hit. Can't get hit, don't get hit. Can't get hit, don't get hit. Ammo. Fuck the Gungeon Eagle, man. Sticky crossbow's where it's at for now. Can't get hit, so don't get hit. You know what? There's HP in there. There's no keys. Easy enough. The Commando's a real good weapon. But it's probably going to cost us like 80, so I don't think we can afford it. Have a shot, Flyboy. How about you taste my shot, fuck boy? Uh, didn't really feel great about that. Occasionally, ooh, the armor's big. Occasionally, we can get uh, a couple of enemies hit with the uh, crossbows, as you saw there. If they're closer, we can probably get even more. I know you don't have to reload after each shot. We could stack up more shots on more enemies, but I also want to reload because that's what hits the explosion. And if I can take an enemy off the screen ASAP, I think that's valuable. More ammo. We'll take it for sticky crossbow, dog. Not a huge fan of that. Pretty lucky to be alive here. I don't want to waste more ammo on... Um, the thing that the enemy spawns instead of the enemy that is doing the spawning. Gotta be careful with that sometimes, though. Okay, stack up as many shots as you can on that guy. There we go. Probably this is not the ideal enemy to use this weapon against. Just go for the basics because he's gonna suck up a lot of bullets. Much obliged. 259. We're really closing in on this, man. This could do it. We have two blanks. I don't think there's a better time. Who we got? Is the Fallen Priest... What happens if you, like, supercharge the shot? Oh, that's the shit right there. Okay. Maybe this actually is intended to be a room clearer. And the sticky crossbow... is the boss killer. Okay, that was very lucky. You know what? Just, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Although it does use three ammo per shot to do this. This is all right. Tough it out, tough it out. Yeah, can't get hit by that. Uh, that would be embarrassing. Hey, dude, if he stands there, that worked well for us.
Okay. <laughs> Again, it worked. No, that was bad. Still got one blank, though. We broke some of the bullets. This is where you take out whatever shoots the fastest. Reload faster, please. Thank you. We're still going here. Got to break the bullets. We broke it. Lucky us. Still got our blank. No, nope, break the bullets. We broke a couple. Okay, go back to machine pistol. Very important. Don't freak out. Then we got our Molotov left. He's in it. He's in the shit. Still good. Still good. Break the shit. We broke the shit. Oh my god, we did it. For now. We got a little HP back. We got the cold 45, which I don't think is very good, but it's... It's good enough, and then we're trying to just live more on this floor. If we get to 300 credits, we have to try. I hope it's not 350, man. Let's take a sip of our coffee. Adrenaline's going a little strong here. Mmm-hmm. Damn, dog. That was scary. Now, hopefully the ballot can get us back to full HP. Obviously, this is my thinking now. Is the Cobalt Hammer even worth it for room clearing? I'm not suggesting it's a bad weapon, by the way. I'm merely suggesting that I have not yet found its true purpose in life. I guess we should be standing in the center of enemies to use it, or the center of rooms, rather. But this is, this is a secondary concern for me right now. Oh my god, another key. Come on. We can make it better. Watch out, uh, big enemies that happen to get me on these rooms. Thwomps, dog. Every time with the thwomps. We're definitely gonna open this. If we need seven, we can get one on the next floor, hopefully. Ooh, it's a sentry turret. We're gonna get rid of our lockpick and take the sentry. Have we explored everything but this on this floor? Yes. So we're gonna have 281. And a little bit of a moment of truth as we go speak to the elevator man. And he says, hey, shitbird, just live long enough to give me 300 credits, please. And I say, yes, yes, sir, Mr. Elevator Man, sir. Mr. English Colonel, tell me to lose weight. I know that, by the way, we need keys which means we should probably use our lockpick on the next floor. But let's be honest, this run is probably mostly doomed. If we can at least bring all the resources we didn't spend on this run down to Elevator Man. I need 306 keys. You're so close. You're so close. We ain't gonna fuck around. Sentry's going down. By the way, I've seen portable sentry used. I've never used it myself, but... Kate's, uh had it on one of our co-op runs to find on well youtube.com slash probox studio and enter streams at uh, twitch.tv slash lovely momo I got hit despite myself despite using the blank I got hit I'm sorry this is not correct there must be some administrative error <laughs> I'm gonna take sticky crossbow ammo man Oh, another room with death. That's what you're looking for right there. Not not on this guy, though. Sorry, right. keep your HP high. Keep your blanks high. You're just looking for like 15 more credits here. There you go, you got like another three or something. Killed something. I am I am using this weapon ineffectively. Go.
Good, 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 good. This is probably going to be the room that does it for us. In terms of getting to the amount of money we need. Just need to find the shaman. Oh, I'm coming for you, buddy. Alright, are we there? 296! Don't, can't give that guy any keys, I'm sorry to say. Just live! If you just live on this room, we're probably fine. Where's my credits at? Come on. There we go. You know what? Why risk it? Got ammo. I had to take it for the cobalt hammer. We have 300. It shouldn't have been this tough, but we've done it. We will almost certainly die now, but I feel like we can die in peace. Yes, you may have them. Can you bring me 25 hegemony credits? Yes, here you go. Thanks, I'll place the order. I need a powerful artifact from Chamber 4. After that, I'll be done. This is the best, because uh, at this point... Getting the Flawless from, from Chamber 4 is very different than uh, all the other things we've had to do. Because it does not require us to ruin our whole run. We will have to sacrifice 1 HP. You got it. But it means that we can basically knock this out on another run. Which is, is very different than what we're used to here. I'm so stoked. Hopefully that's the hardest um, elevator thing in the game. I'm assuming there's no elevator man on bullet hell. Maybe incorrect. At this point, our odds of defeating the Lich, I would say, are very, very low. Uh, but our odds of defeating the Dragon are existent. Wouldn't necessarily say robust, but existent. Oh, come on. You're gonna live through that, and that, and then hit me? That is. I mean, I can't really offer too much of my own defense on that one. Just go for it, dude. Alright, great. We need to pop one of these turrets down on, I think. Try not to put it in a position where it has such a robust blind spot, but that's okay. Room is complete. You like portable sentry makes up for the fact that obviously uh, the Molotov is useless on the dragon. I'm actually like filled with an overwhelming sense of joy. Maybe not overwhelming, but a, a, a very whelming sense of joy as a result of the fact that we managed to. Uh, get Elevator Man's bullshit complete here. This required us to purchase nothing for an entire run, which definitely runs counter to most Gungeon strats where you're buying keys. Now, admittedly, you only gotta do it, you only gotta make it work once. But it, it took us more than one try to make it happen, so... I, I'm... I'm feeling well warmed up here, especially considering the first three floors, we basically only used a combination of a shit gun and our starter pistol. And we got a couple of guns I ain't ever seen before. The Cobalt Hammer, for example, that I continue to use probably exactly... Oh, dang it. Exactly incorrectly. But I respect its power. The Smoke Bomb. What a, what a crock of shit. Well, obviously, it's not going to be there. Oh, it is here, though. You get half a heart and some armor. Tough it out on this one, man. Why tough it out? Because if we beat the Lich, we got bragging rights, man. If we beat the Dragon, we get, we get small bragging rights. Those aren't going to be like, you know, Michael Phelps-esque, eight gold medals bragging rights, but it'll be a start, man. What in the world? Oh, I know exactly what happened, and I'm mad about it. What happened? One of those stupid bullet bubbles must have run into a wall. 
and then exploded with its bullet facing me and ruining my life. Thank you for that. Lovely. Okay, we should probably go back to Cold 45 temporarily here. There's our boss fight. Fuck it, dude. Gotta give it a try. What do we use here? I honestly have no idea. Uh, I almost feel like we... Obviously, it's not gonna be Cold 45. I almost feel like the Mac 10 gives us some... Oh, that's shit as well. Okay. At least that gives us pretty good output. We got no blanks, so uh, don't get too excited. Okay, okay, we gotta get over here to these guys. Whoa, don't wanna be here! I got hit again. Meet the new boss, same as the old boss! No! You know what? Can't be mad. Can't be mad. Good run. Elevator man's taken care of. We need to bring him the fourth floor flawless. That's not that big of a deal. For now, I consider that run a win. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will.